Man, I should really listen up the Okami on this soundtrack, shouldn't I? There's a lot of it. As much as I love Okami. I'm doing a stream, by the way, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I'm doing a short one before I go to bed. So, Caves of Kud, just for a brief time, maybe a half hour at most. Pretty short stream. Uh, can you hear me okay over the music? Give me one sec. Okay. I think I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Kives Kud. Nimuar. Level 7. Mutated Human Water Merchant. I thought it was a little bit higher than that, but it's okay. Alright. So yeah, very low-key stream, just because I wanted to play more of this, and I want to stick by doing it on stream. We're famished again? Really? I could swear that we just ate, but I guess not. We, and we don't have any food, do we? So we'll have to find some food along the way. Which is fine, because we got quite a journey ahead of us. We're first going to go up to... Let's see. Which way? Actually, if I go one tile to the right, and then diagonal up from there, it'll bring us to the rusted archway, which is where we want to go. Or just generally up and right should do the trick. No, it's fine, Toxic Avenger. I did see your email. I just haven't done. I haven't uh, downloaded it yet. All right, so we're gonna start on this journey. We're going to the Rusted Archway, which is way up there, which is really just the halfway point along the trip to the Great Gate. Still erect is the superior half of this colossal gate of the colossal gate inscribed with the ruins of a hundred indecipherable tongues. Beneath its chrome palings, a wide passage opens into the jungle loam. What's directly north of Red Rock? Let's see. Hills. Yeah, there's a random tile of foothills, though, which is pretty interesting. I wonder if there's something there. Do you want to check that out, too, just in case? Because it does seem kind of, you know, out of the middle of nowhere, a random tile of foothills around some desert canyons. We could check that out too if you want. What do you guys think? Do you want to check out those foothills which might not even have anything or just head straight towards the rest of the archway? Oh, further north? Even further north? Let's see, there's some flower fields we could go check out. Golgotha up there. And of course the stilted, the six day stilt. Suspicious. It's only as suspicious in the map design. It doesn't say anything remarkable here. And it would make our trip a lot longer, because we wouldn't be taking the hypotenuse of this triangle. I say we just go straight towards the rusted archway. We're going on a trek, guys. It's quite a few squares. We've never ventured out this far before. Towards the grit gate for the quest. Stopping by the rusted archway along the way. Let's do it. Go to Golgotha. What's in Golgotha? You played a bunch of Caves of Kud yesterday and you died a lot. <laughs> the ruined subterranean gate northeast of Joppa. There is a Barathrumite conclave within the Great Gate. Then I asked the Barathrumites about Argyle's strange signal. Also, to help me out, I have. What is it? Droid Scrambler. Because apparently there are a lot of droids around that area. Okay. How I survived so easily? I've died I died a lot before I came across this character. And really the I think one of the keys is to really take your time. So we're gonna head kinda diagonal. Let's see there's actually some corpses up here hopefully that I can feast on. Oh equip. I didn't mean to equip that. <laughs> I want to eat it. There we go. Okay. Do, do, do. Boar corpse. Let's eat that too. Meal's tough, but the meal's filling. But now I'm bloated, so we are plenty full. Alright, we checked this out already while we were heading to Red Rock. 
picks up a nasty bird in your hand and bites his fucking head off. You thought I wasn't a cannibal? What do you mean? Stupid snap jaw. Yeah, this is adventure music right here. Yeah. Also, how are the, the Equimaxes are now just tough instead of very tough. Equimax just killed that guy, guy for me. Bloody dog corpse, which will probably make me sick, so I'm not going to continue to eat the studded leather armor. It's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Oh, let me see if my cooldowns display properly. Ah, they still don't. Oh, damn. That's pretty frustrating. Doggy. There, Mighty Rob. Oh, no, it wasn't human corpses. Everything has a corpse. Let's see, we are in planes still. Let's see. Right, let's see where we are in the world map now. Oh, there are hostiles, so I cannot. Nope. Okay, so we're up towards Red Rock. That's good. Making progress. Oh. It put me down in like a different spot. I imagine there's some kind of hack like that, because basically every square on the world map is actually several squares of local map. Um, so if you travel up to the world map and then back down, then it'll put you right in the middle, even if you weren't in the middle square before. So you could probably use that to cheat out some squares, like evading the, the food penalty. Also this wall. Freezing bronze dagger. Cool. But you need to sell for it. Still, I'll get that and equip it later. Mmm, copper nugget. Take that. Okay. Hey there. Uh. Oh, never mind. I was about to say hey to Mahdi Rob, even though I'm pretty sure I already said hey to Mahdi Rob. Oh, shit, what was that? He threw, like... Oh, no. He threw an ice thing at me. And I'm frozen solid now. Can I fire at him? Oh, no, I'm frozen solid. He threw a fucking ice grenade at me. He's just a goddamn snap jaw. Maybe he'll break me out of the ice. Oh, this is terrible. Hang on, maybe... I can't use that. Let's boost our toughness. If I can. Your toughness increases. Okay, that gave us... That should give us a lot more health. Which should be enough to survive his onslaught until we thaw. What else can we do? We have force wall... Can I laze? Oh, I can still shoot lasers. Oh, thank God. Otherwise, I'm frozen solid. I'll just need to wait to... Uh-oh, but he's shooting at me from off-screen. I don't know where he is. Oh, this is bad. Pre oh, precog's four now. That's right. I'll make a precog just in case I die. Not that there's much else I can do different. Maybe I can light a torch? No. Wait, equip. Lit torch. Maybe that will help. Oh, it worked! You equip the torch and then it melted immediately. Amazing! Can't believe that worked. And check it out, I got my bros with me. Ready to fuck up that hunter. Lacquered bronze sword. I select a direction Y. I want to pick up the thing that's here. There we go. F. Now we don't need to restart. I can't believe that worked. That was able to light my torch while I was frozen solid. 
Um, Willowy Shortbow. It weighs much less than normal. Cool. Let's equip that instead of my normal sh Shortbow. Okay. We're heading onward. Shale. 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 There we go. Iron Mace. Snapjaw Corpse. Those bastards better not throw another fucking ice grenade at me. That was scary. Another Null Worm Skull. I wonder if those are worth a lot selling. How do, how's my inventory looking anyway? Ooh, actually we're almost full on our weight. What's taking up all the weight? Oh, a musket's taking up a lot. I was going to sell that. We could just drop it though. Um, fresh water. Oh yeah, all the money I have because I got a stupid amount of money and it's actually taking up a lot of weight. Is the dev back in chat? I don't know. I don't think he uh, retweeted me. Actually, I don't even know where my phone is. Because that's how I usually check retweets and stuff in the middle of the stream. Okay, let's keep rolling. Oh, let me double check make sure I'm recording this. I am. I'm so paranoid that I'm going to miss a recording or something. Okay. Pocket vest. Narrow, which I auto got. Let's see. 95 more turns to use that again. See, that doesn't seem right, though. What is three temporal feud? I feel like I thought it was a cooldown of fifty. Does anyone remember me thinking that? No, that no, that was for beguile. Never mind. Another apron. Mm -mm -mm -mm, traveling along. Was that bronze dagger, leather moccasins? Ooh, what was that guy? It's golden. Snapjaw brute, still easy though. Kill him dead. Also, I didn't take note of what my toughness increased to at one time. Sturdy beaded bracelet, nice. Ooh, took a little bit extra damage there than I could have done. Okay. Yeah, more Caves of Cood. I'm glad you guys like Caves of Cood as much as I'm liking Caves of Cood. I have to actually go down a little bit here. A little bit of pain in the dick. Um, let's make a force wall and shoot him to death. I'm not going to do it around them in a cheesy way. This time I'm just going to make a long wall. But they have to walk around while they get shot. Need to reload. What's equipped? Load. With wooden arrows. I have 90 wooden arrows. Nice. Also, lit torch. Let's extinguish that and remove it. We don't need that. Okay. I'm going to shoot the strong guy of death from back here. No, shoot the... There we go. That's what I wanted. Wow, they actually don't go around the force wall, interestingly enough. I thought they would. There we go. Beat a bracelet. You've been hoping someone would stream it. Well, I'm your guy. Aren't you enthralled by that? That Rob, Rob Revolution. RRR. I'm surprised they're not even running away at this point. Because they're so weak. What's that guy? Snapjot Warrior. Let's laser him to death. Water. Water. And a chest. Ooh, drams of honey. Let's drink that honey. Nice. Let's pour that honey on our body. How many drams? How about just ten of those drams we're going to pour in our body? I'm going to be sticky icky. Oh, yeah, 10 drams of honey pours out all over me. Yeah. Sorry. Um, a, 
God damn it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get it. I'm sure I could sell that for a lot. That's pretty hot. <clears throat> I don't know when Jen's streaming. You can um, tweet Jen about it. She might be able to help you. Uh, ooh, what's that guy? Glow White Cultist of Agolgot. It's this. It's another one of these guys. He's come for revenge. And can I do the thing? Yeah, he's so fucked. They're gonna laser him to death. Of course, he knows the real me. <laughs> 100 XP. So what's my actual cooldown on that? About 180 rounds? 185, maybe. Um, let's see. Metroid music, is that what this is? Yeah. I just have a playlist of all my video games. First up. By the way, do I have... I have two mutation points I can use. I wonder if I can upgrade anything. Next level I get three copies of me instead of just two. That's pretty exciting. Next level of that does... Ooh, another penetration. And extra actual damage. Next level of force wall. Much less cooldown. I wonder if I had a high enough cooldown if I could just creep, uh, keep creating force walls. That'd be pretty OP. Next duration, 14D, 4 plus 2 for your proje projection. What about skills? 24 SP. Okay. And no attribute points. Okay. Oh shit, there's more of those guys over there. How much? Only 500 XP until my next level. I might go down and kill them. Might as well. Rest. I want to rest, not take aim. There we go, perfect. Ooh, a miner's hat. Miner's helmet. With built in alum alumination. <laughs> Can I see how much it weighs? My inventory is getting pretty full. I guess let's take it. Let's probably sell that for a good amount. Um, 125 on Temporal Fugue. I do kind of want to kill these guys. Can I hit him from here? There we go. I, wow, I can hit from pretty far with that. Damn. Beautiful. How many? I have zero charges. Okay. Let's get some charges back. One charge. That's not that good. Here, we can force wall him until we get our charges back. Now we'll just wait, get our charges back. There we go. Now I'm sure we have plenty of charges. Two charges left. Hopefully it's enough to kill him. Ooh. He's wounded though. We could probably just finish him off by hitting him. There we go. Okay, cool. This is a little, little bit scary, but we're good. We're good. Ooh, look at this zone. Check out that guy way up there. Hide sheathed hermit. There's a treasure chest too. Um, only one charge on my lays. Let's wait. Holy fuck! What was that? What was that? Oh my god. Projectiles, exploding projectiles. Something crazy is going on up there. What does he have? Steel longsword. Oh, there's a mortar up there. No wonder. A traipsing mortar. Oh, that's scary. I wonder if it can run out of ammo. Let's wait. Maybe the Equimax will kill it. Holy shit, check that out. Oh my god, it just killed the Equimax just like that. In perfect condition. Oh, I wish I could snipe him. Can I shoot him from all the way over here? 
five. I don't know what that five means. I could take aim too, that might help. There you go, straight line of sight. Take aim. Oh, please tell me. I hit the Equimax. Shit. Uh oh, I have a hostile Equimax on me now. <laughs> oh no. It's not good. We could go to world map too, which is something I want to do. Let's just go this way. I'm going to avoid that. And we'll eat the Snapdragon Corpse because we are hungry. Eat it. Hungry and quenched. And we'll eat another one. Eat them, Snapjaws. Hungry still. Quilted shawl, nice. Take that because it's worth a lot of money. And we'll eat the Snapjaw corpse. Still hungry. Huh. My hunger never ceases. Eat that snap jaw. There we go, sated. We should probably get up to bloated. Okay. I wanted to see where it was in the world map. So, two more tiles diagonal upright and then one to the east. So, I remember that now. Equimax is around here. Not mad at me. Good. Some what were those salt hoppers? Yeah, salt hoppers are pretty strong. But they're worth some good experience and they're not too tough. This game is called Caves of Coot. Average hostile. Ooh, average on a snap jaw. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, he's got pyrokinesis. That's scary. Let's see, I do have my my bros around. He's got pyrokinesis. Oh, that's bad. Let's do a force wall. I can't quite make it. There we go. And now we'll kill the other ones just to get them out of the way. Maybe I'll get my musket out for this guy. Yeah, let's get my musket out. Carbine. Look. Ooh, it's 15 lead slugs. Nice. Reload it. And fire. 21 damage. Holy shit. Did it kill him? Had to have killed him. Your reputation with fish changed by 185. Interesting. And I gotta see a bigger... Only 50 experience. He had fucking pyrokinesis, though. That terrified me. Shit terrified me. Okay. Yeah, this is a roguelike, indeed. What level am I now? I am currently level 7. Only 90 experience until the next level, though. Flaming Desert Chris. Wow, cloth overalls are 1 2 on pants. Or no, maybe it's not pants. Maybe it's just body. I'd rather have the tunic. Hmm. Okay. Okay, moving on. What? Oh, I'm killing things off screen. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, we got a rest. There we go. By the way, if any of you have any questions about what you're looking at with the UI, certainly let me know. I'm not in uh, explainy mode tonight because because uh, I do plan on this being a relatively short stream. Uh, eight. Eat. 
get another metal folding chair. Huh. Wonder why he was carrying that around. I want to get to bloated. Bloated with Snapjaw Corpse. Hey Tim579, how are you doing? It's kind of like a role-playing game, but mostly a roguelike if you consider them different. I guess roguelike is a subset of role-playing game, right? Desert Canyon. Uh, wooden arrows, I'll take those. Eat the snap jaw, of course. 40 experience till the next level. Bloated, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Ugh, kill him. Furs, an iron mace. 23 experience till the next level. I want it. Want that next level. You didn't find slight chance your house is haunted, huh? You've been hitting that soy sauce. Is that what's been doing it? Lay off the soy sauce. Iron mace. Yeah, but you don't casually drop a line like, I think my house is haunted, and then expect us to not ask lots of questions. Beaded bracelet. Yeah. Should auto get that. I don't know why it's not. And let's kill that guy. Yeah, level 8. Mutation point. Wow, I still can't increase these. Sweet. Now I get three copies when I do that. Well, they're increasing automatically because of my high ego, but eventually they'll stop increasing automatically. Oh, yeah. And we'll wait until our charges are back. Five charges. I know I can get up to six now, I'm pretty sure. Six charges. Canyon. Let's check out where I am now. Ugh, oh, hostiles, really? Get out of here. Oh, sweet. So now I just gotta head east and we'll make it to the rusted archway. Archways. Spanning the sky rests a metal archway under which pass the chrome gargantuans canonized in the Elder Canticles. Cool. How many runs have I done? Like, a lot. But this is the first run where I've. This is the first run that's worth a damn, basically. You're in your living room checking out newly born puppies, and you went into the kitchen and got some cereal. When you look back at the light in the living room, you're just not sure it was on before, and you just never noticed. So as of right now, you're going to say it's haunted unless something weird happens. Wait, it's haunted unless something weird happens? Huh. Huh. Also, two more days left in my job, guys, and then I'll be officially unemployed until my next job. Moving to Texas. Ooh, is this part of it? No, Desert Canyon. This might be a farm. Or something. I hope it is, so we can talk to whoever's here. No attribute point. Wait, three mutation points? Ah, I guess that makes sense. Um, 70 SP remaining on this. Could take harvestry now, although I'm not sure what the point is just yet. Man, I wish I had the intelligence for Master Butcher. You occasionally harvest special items from some corpses. That'd be awesome.
Yeah, I can party with Rev. Yeah. Why don't I try reading correctly? What? Not in soy sauce, sir. No meat demons. Good. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I mi misread here? Hey, what is that? Piggy? Pig. A squat snout mammal in pink flesh. It is a swarmer. Equipped with bite. Oh, check this out. Hey, guys. Live and drink, Traveler. Are you hungry? I sure am. Give me that raw pig meat. I got so many drams of water. Here you go. And the vine wafers, sure. Other one, too. Get the pig mud. Mud? Let's see, can I sell these guys anything? Oh, they don't have any money. Or they don't have any water, I should say. I'm carrying too much to move. Oh no, the, the pygmy is... It's so heavy. Oh no. I guess I'll eat some of it. <laughs> I want to get sick. Oh, I'm two pounds overweight. Alright, we're going to get rid of this torch. Yes, we can. Uh, drop them torches. They're useless. It's good to have one torch in case they get frozen, but otherwise, we need that shit. It's definitely ghosts. Oh, about the the strange thing. Yeah, I must have misread that. I didn't think it made sense. Got a chest. It's not owned by you. Are you sure you want to open it? Should we open this chest? Should we try to steal? I'll leave it up to you guys. I don't know, I doubt these pig farmers are very powerful. Honestly. If they do catch me stealing, but it doesn't look like they're, they're gonna catch me. But I have no idea what stealing mechanics in this game are like. It could get us killed. No idea. Your choice. It's a bloody chest, which is a little bit worrisome. <laughs> Think about it. A bloody chest. Think about it. Do 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 do. Do do do. do, do, do. Only a knave would stoop so low. Any other opinion? Should I steal from this chest or should I leave it? Speaking of ghosts, I was actually staying at my mom's house the other night and I heard a sound from the office. You were sure that your brother was in his room, but since you heard a noise, you walked towards the office going, John? And it was completely dark with no one inside, but you swore you heard noise like someone shuffling papers around the desk. Maybe it was Sophie. Play it safe, don't steal. Why would they put this here, though? If they didn't want me to steal from it. Alright, alright. I'll play it safe. Do, 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 do. Beat a bracelet. 3,000 experience until the next level. I don't even know if it's worth killing these guys anymore. I guess it's worth it for the trade goods. Oh, is that a horn thing? Hang on, I saw it. What is that? What is that? Horn chameleon. Average. Ooh. That's a little scary. I'll have to approach it just the right angle. Oh, he sees me. Oh, I one-shot it with my laser. Jesus. That's insane. To kill an average creature in one shot. Whenever I inspect a creature, in case it wasn't obvious, uh, there's three words. There's a general condition on the left. The green one where it says trivial is how easy they are to defeat in battle. And then neutral is their status against you, which could either be friendly or hostile, as well as neutral. Ooh, what is that? I shouldn't have moved so quickly. Oh, maybe one shot it again. Salt hoppers are also a little scary. 
Injured, badly wounded, and dead. Saw Harper Chip. Sweet. Saw Harper Chip. I want to see that. Where is Salt Hopper Chip? Probably at the very top or something. Oh, right there. Under food. Delicious wafers made from the rich underbelly meat of a salt hopper still attached to the crunchy exoskeleton. Num, num, num. Desert Canyon still. Oh, something's shooting at me. Seed spitter thing. Two seed spitter things. Luckily I have high agility and thus dodge it pretty well. Agility is actually my second highest stat, mostly for my gun. Also we're coming across more walls, more salt, or more um seed spitters, which means we're definitely approaching something. Hmm. Just want to see if this is a building or just some walls. I like seeing the dogs fight the salamanders and shit. <laughs> Where are we now? Ooh, rusted archway. We found it, guys. We're here. Let's look at the area. Boar, boar. Giant centipede. Okay, that's not too bad. There's another board. Another giant centipede. Yeah, it's a little far away from my liking. Um. Kill the badly wounded one. And we'll just smack the other one to death. Raw boar meat. Boars are really easy to butcher. Oh, of course it put me over the weight limit. By one fucking pound. Also, weird artifact. Let's examine it. Fix it spray foam. Surgeon Hegemon's warning. Do not use on human hearts. Whoa, cool. I could use that my that broken artifact. Probably. Let's see, still one pound over. Let's get rid of bronze dagger. I need that. Oh, check this out. It's like a compound. Oh, God damn it. Fuck that auto butchering. No. Here, let's drop. The raw meat's probably going to go bad anyway. There we go. So KY seeing as how ghosts are on the are on the mind. Do you have any ghost stories? Um, not really. When I was a kid, or not even when I was a kid, this is like an ongoing thing. But I brought an Ouija board to my house once, when I was like a teenager or a kid or something, and my mom like freaked out and was like, "Get it out of the house! Get out of the house!" And like, she won't tell me why, but apparently she experienced something when she was really little with it, that involved in a Ouija board. That she will not like go near one ever again. Like she refuses to have them in the house. Prickler. Like absolutely refuses. Oh, security door. We need a key card. Maybe we'll find one around. Ooh, is that a two-headed boar? It's a little scary. Let's run. Uh, we'll boost toughness too while we're here. Wounded, dead. Yeah, she absolutely will not. I know I've arrived at the arch. Uh, she will not go near one. And Ouija board. Something happened when she was a kid, apparently. Scrap clad hermit. Ugh, more boar meat, motherfucker. But now I can keep moving, so that's good. Gotta be really careful because there could easily be like. Um, turrets around here. Definitely don't want that. Ooh, 
he dropped a gun. Cool. The bloody irritable tortoise dies. <laughs> Musket. How many lasers do we have left? Four. Okay. Can't wait till that menu gets fixed. Actually, it looks like these doors barely even go anywhere useful. Oh, there is a room over there. Oh, I take the musket? Why? Why did I take that musket? I want that musket. Get rid of that musket. Where'd that musket at? Get rid of it. I don't want it. Get out of here. Drop. keep getting fucked by the prickly wall fucks. And so there's a room up here. Nothing in it though. Hide sheath hermit. A crazed feral hills hermit. Force wall, bitch. Surprise! And I just shoot him to death. Game. Although his armor is pretty good because a lot of times it's not even penetrating his armor. Take aim. Fire. Kill him. There we go. 200 experience. Nice. Trying to make enemies of, of all the factions. Yeah. Seriously. Apparently when your grandmother was younger, she woke up one night and saw a man with gray hair leaning over her bed. However, I have no idea how the rest of the story goes. That's weird. <sighs> your friend started dreads on fire when we were playing a Ouija board in college. Wow. I had a friend uh, start a fire in chemistry class. Like, we were lighting Bunsen burners, and there's they, they plug into two gauss, gas spouts uh, that are, like, side by side. She plugged into one and turned the other one on, was holding the lighter to the Bunsen burner, like, why is it not lighting me? Ooh, precious Bunsen. And then, <laughs> and then the water just, or sorry, the fire just shot out of the other gas thing when it finally lit up. And I was actually the one that reached around her and turned it off for her, because she was freaking out. Steel Kukri, it's probably worth a lot. Can I move? Sweet. I just read a really sweet, a giant centipede corpse, a really sweet uh, kind of paranormal haunting type book called John Dies at the End. Have any of you guys re uh, read that? It's pretty good. I actually learned about it from Limes a long time ago, and I picked it up back then, and I never read it until just now. And it was pretty good. Now I kind of want to get the sequel, which I hear is even better. Let's see, a regular boar. Shoot, it did. Raw boar meat, of course. I'm amazed I'm not overweight yet. Whether <laughs> John doesn't die at the end. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Ooh, we also found some stairs down, but let's finish exploring this compoundy type area above ground first. Oh shit, that was bad. That was bad. Let's sprint. Sprint. Get some leeway off this guy. I do want to be able to see him though. There we go, good. Am I still sprinting? No, I'm not, okay. Movie skips most of the book, but it's all right. I do want to see the movie. Um, you feel the movie is good because you didn't read the book first. I heard that they changed the name of the dog in the movie from Molly, which is the name of the dog in the book, to Barkley. Oh shit, what is that? Hang on, I ran way too fast to that thing. It's a honey skunk. Small creature is universally feared for its unpredictable and dangerous gas emissions. 
Let's do that. Oh, my bro killed it. Okay. That's a little scary. Oh, a two-headed boar. Ooh, check that guy out. Oh, wait, no, it's just another hide heath shirt. Uh, hide sheathed hermit. My lasers should fuck him up, though. Critical hit. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Steel short sword. We don't even have enough weight. We are exactly our weight limit right now. Might want to drop some shit soon. Let's see what we can get rid of that we don't need. I guess I'll drop the extra armors. Lacquered bronze lawns, long sword. Yeah. Drop that. Carbine we want to keep. Bench sheet metal. I don't really do scrap. Definitely keep the trade stuff. Bloody water. <laughs> I have that. Let's pour it all over ourselves. All the drams of bloody water it pours all over me. Now I'm all bloody. You wake up in KY streaming. Nice. I might be. I can do your breakfast TV before college. This is a late stream for me, to be honest, though. I'm about to be wrapping up soon. Might venture down these stairs a floor or two before I end the stream. I wonder what's in that room. Uh, I wish I could tunnel through. I really do. I wish I'd take taken mole claws. I don't. Uh, I'm 1400 experience from the next level. You know, I could mutate until I get the mole claws, and then mole through all these like locked rooms, like the one up there. Oh well. Alright, you guys ready to go down these stairs and maybe get fucked? In a bad way, <laughs> I should specify. Oh, uh, where are these stairs? Where'd they go? Am I just totally blind? Where the hell'd they go? I know there are stairs. I know there are. I remember seeing them. Is that them down there? Make that gun. That, the thing is more to the right. Oh, it was above the compound. That's why. Confuse me. Okay. I did tell the kids that Miss Adams leaving. They're very, very sad. What's the point of interest I want to visit right now? It's mostly. Um, this is the point of interest I wanted to visit. Although, it was more the halfway point. To the grit gate which is my current quest but i would like to go explore in the cave at least see what kind of enemies are down here toughness increases just to make sure we don't die oh wow check out all these enemies let's bottleneck them a little bit all them boars. So many enemies, guys. This is insane. Why are there so many? Can I do my thing? Temporal fugue? Yes, I can. We're gonna do it. Bam. Bloody steel short sword. Come on, bros. Let's do it. Select a direction. I just wanted to open the chest. Oh, there we go. Bear jerky. Copper nugget. Nuggies. Copper nuggies. Uh, I'll miss you, Mr. Jellington. You are a magical man. That's what they said. More stairs down. Okay. 
All these security doors, man. I really gotta get some car keys. Holy shit! What is this nonsense? Just tons and tons of scrap. So much scrap. Corroded circuit board. Oh god, now I'm auto-getting them all of a sudden. <sighs> all the scrap. Where'd that scrap at? Is that scrap worth a lot of money? Scrap. I don't even know how much scrap. I didn't want to equip that. Just drop it. Could technically dual wield, maybe. I'm gonna dual wield with anything and be the steel kukri, I guess. Or flaming desert Chris. When powered, but it's not powered. Anything you missed since last time? We got to. We found this cool compound that we're exploring right now. More raw boar meat. <laughs> I do like how this dungeon feels really different from the normal cave dungeons. Hey guy, did not expect to run into you around that corner. I like how my lasers never miss, it's wonderful. I almost have a feeling that's gonna get nerfed. What is that? Oh, it's a honey skunk again. No. I like the honey skunk. You gotta wait, honey skunk. You gotta wait. More raw boar meat. <laughs> I have so much raw boar meat. I am eating it, though, so. Alright, now we wait. There we go. 225 experience. I guess they're just, they're weak but very dangerous if you get close or something. Because they're worth a lot of experience. Is that a second stairway down or is that the same one I found in the first place? I swear there was one. Wow, so there's two stairway downs. Wait, no, the one on the right is a stairway up. Interestingly enough. That's weird. Let's go check that out. That's really odd. Maybe it's a thing. Huh. Oh, what? Secret? Secret stairway, I guess. It's like a little escape stairway. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, you're fucking shitting me. No. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? <sighs> Just like that. Just like that. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I'm just speechless. Totally speechless. I don't think I can load though. It's a fucking roguelike. I can't load. Damn, I was so like confident too, and I don't think it's the confidence that killed me. It was just like I was going toe to toe with this floor and then a fucking chain gun turret right in front of me. That was just extremely bad luck. I don't know. Maybe I'll need to get clairvoyance or something and just like look around every corner, but wouldn't that be kind of a pain in the ass? 
Hey, at least it was by far our best score. You can actually see my message log too. Can I go all the way back to the beginning? No, I can't. No, I can't load. I had a character down here, but I think that was just someone I was dicking around with. Let's see what that is. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd have to use my precog there, and precog is so limited that you kind of need to see in advance when it's going to be useful. What was I doing with this guy? Time dilation. Time dilation has got a cool uh, art effect. Check this out. Oh, over there. So I use time dilation. Let's see. The closer enemies are to me, the slower they are. Pretty cool. I was doing so well until I died. I'm just going to delete that. Man, bummer. Also, look at the difference in score. My second best is 3,000. My best, which was Nimuar just then, 11,000. Amazing. Ah. <sighs> So it goes. So it goes. Well, I guess it's good timing because I'm about time I go to bed anyway. I'm exhausted, guys. I had such a such a long bad day, and I'm so glad it's over. All right, let's see if there's any art. No new art. Alright guys, that's Caves of Kood. I hope you enjoyed. I may do like one more run at some point. I also want to stream Sproggy Wood, which is made by the same guy. Kind of a different type of roguelike. Um, I'd like to finish Batman. At this point, I'm starting to be doubtful about finishing it before my big move. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to do that tomorrow. Uh, stream is going to start a little late, but you know, we'll see. Alright, have a good night everyone. Take care. Bye.